All right, what's up guys? K-Dog 357 coming to here in the morning. Today is March the 1st. I don't know why that thing jumped like that, but anyway. Um, and so the first thing we're doing, uh, I got a guest with me this morning. The first thing we're doing is we're going to draw for the um, Henry um, lever action rifle chambered in 22. Um, Bill Harmon's with me this morning. He's my old uh, boss uh, at the police department we used to work at. Of course, he's retired. He put his 30 years in, and uh, he was my... He was the major there, my old boss. Now he's, uh, now he works for me and he submits to me now, to my will. And, uh, no, see, he's just laughing because he knows better than that. But anyway, um, so as you can see, here's my basket. I'm going to spin it. Uh, we're going to see because I got, we got something to talk to you about. So I'm going to draw this first. Got it spun up good there. I'm going to let the major pull the winning ticket out. So, looks like Donnie Parks. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Dennis Parks. Dennis Parks. You're not going to believe this. Dennis Parks won last month. He won the Caltech PMR 30. Well, he won the He Henry. won again. Dennis, this is unbelievable. I know you're you're going to be stoked when you hear about this. I mean, we did it fair and square. I I don't know what to say, but um Mr. Parks Congratulations! Now you got a uh, a, um, a Henry uh, 22 lever action rifle. It's going to be coming to you. Um, so congratulations, man! I'm kind of beside myself there because I don't, I don't, I usually don't win at nothing when I do stuff like that. Never, ever, ever. Now Dennis, that makes two people that have won twice. Two people have won twice, and uh, Keevan has won twice. He knows who he is. So anyway, um, congratulations, Mr. Parks. We'll be getting up with you soon, unless you hear about it uh, via the video. So, um, so Bill's going to talk to you this morning a little bit about House Bill 8. Um, of course, this is at a national level, and I'm also hearing there, there's some things coming, uh, trying to come uh, get passed here in North Carolina as well uh, when it comes to high-capacity magazines, lowering the capacity, and, and Bill may know a little bit on that as well. I don't know, but this is at a national level, so you know that the Dems got the House, and um, so they're trying to get some things done, you know, with gun control and universal background checks and all that. So, so if so, if you will, just um, just kind of try to tell them. Uh, well, ain't no trying about it. He's gonna be able to do it. He's schooled on it. What's going on at a national level and how it could affect you as far as your rights to uh, gun ownership and anything else that goes along with that. Well, you know what's happening is Nancy Pelosi and her gun cronies. Uh as soon as they got back to the House, she, she started pushing her gun agenda. And House Bill 8 passed the Senate the other day, and it, it went right pretty much across party lines. And what House Bill 8 is, is... We'll pass the House, I guess. It just passed the House. Yeah, it's not you know, going to the Senate. If it gets through the Senate, uh, Hopefully that's Trump, what will Trump's already said he's going to veto it. But um, here's what you got to watch for. Uh, your next election's coming up, and this is their agenda, and they're wanting to push this agenda. But House Bill 8, what House Bill 8 does is expands your background checks, your universal background checks. It's uh, They're trying to close gun shows, and they're trying to close uh, the fellow from South Carolina who's up here, he stops in the gun store one day and wants to buy a gun. And uh, it, it doesn't change what you do when you go into the store, but it, what it's wanting to do is every firearms transfer, except for like uh, close relatives, has to go through a background check. So if you have a gun and you want to sell it to your friend or you want to sell it to your neighbor, they're going to make you come down here and us call everything in. Mm. Now what that does is it, it makes, uh, it makes uh, the normal people who aren't criminals subject to something that the criminals aren't subject to. Because you know a criminal is not going to say, well, you know, I want to sell you this gun but we got to go down here and do a background check first. Right. You know, he stole the gun to begin with, and now he wants to sell it. So, you know, he's not going to run down here to, to Carolina Farms and say, look, I need to do this properly. I want to transfer it. So the only people it's going to affect are normal law-abiding citizens. Normal law-abiding citizens are going to have to come down here, pay a transfer fee, fill out the paperwork, call it in. And what that's leading to and, they, and they, they put a provision in the bill, so they said, oh, no, this is not part of it, this is not part of it. 
But what it's leading to is registration. That's what, that's what, that's what they want. They want every gun that you buy registered, and that's what it's leading to. Also, they're trying to attach, I think it's HB42. I'm not really sure. But you know when you come in, you buy a gun, and if you have a name that's a popular name or a, a common name like John Smith or something like that, a lot of times you get delayed for the three-day delay. Or when it's Christmas season and it's really, really busy and they have so many people that are getting checks that they don't have time to do them when you call on the phone, and they just put a delay on it. We've had that happen. A um, couple weeks before Christmas, you come in here on a Saturday. Stores are slammed. People are buying Christmas presents. And we get delays on everybody. Three-day delay, three-day delay, three-day delay. Right. Well, what happens on that three-day delay is after three days, you can come pick the gun up if they haven't called us back and said, now you can't sell it to them. Well, your Democrats, they want to change that to 20 or 30-day delay. Mm. And they say that'll save lives. Because... <laughs> All of the criminals that are going out committing crimes, they're calling in their guns before they do it, so they don't get, so they don't get these delays. <laughs> but uh, they're they're saying that it would stop these these crimes. Uh, they're talking right. about like Vegas and, and stuff like that. Well, the problem with Vegas is he bought those guns over a long period of time. Uh, the thirty day delay wouldn't have stopped him because he bought them over years. So you can't anticipate a person's mindset. You know, people are crazy, and you can't stop crazy. But um, that's pretty much what your HBH doing, and, and they have, uh, like I think I think it's 42, and they're trying to attach a couple more to it. Uh, magazine bans, no more than 10 rounds. Uh, that's one of the bills they got in there right now. So um, all I can say is you got till next election to get your guns, <laughs> you know, depending on who becomes the next president. Right. So, um, so that's, that's what the thing's going on is, um, you know, is, is more gun control, which we know that doesn't, um, you know, that doesn't deter violence. You know, uh, it's just the bad thing is, is good guys have to suffer for, uh, for it. And that's obviously that's not fair. And, uh, most people would agree with us. And when we've had a, a really, a pretty good increase in business as well here lately, and I think it's just the, um, the, the climate out there is, is that, I always said, you know, it doesn't really matter, um, you know, what kind of bills are passed, anti-gun laws, even if they're not passed, it's all about what people think. And if they think that the government's coming after their guns, then it creates a little bit of a frenzy as far as, um, well, I better go buy this or buy that because I may not be able to get it at some point or, or, or I don't want to wait 30 days. And I'd like to say this is probably not going to pass through the Senate, but, you know, who, who knows? You never know. And like I said, it doesn't matter whether it does or not. It's what people think and what they're worried about. And that's what's going on right now. So I hope this has um, informed you a little bit more. If you didn't know. I'll say one more thing. Yeah. We don't, we don't, we don't want you to understand. We don't think all Democrats are anti-gun. No, 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 But no. you have a, uh, you have a group, a core group, and unfortunately they're in charge. Yeah. You know, the Schumers, the Pelosi's, the Feinstein's, and they're all in charge. And this is their agenda. And they push their agenda. And right now, the House and the Senate and everybody is anti each other. So whatever right. they whatever they bring up is going to pass on the party lines. That's just pretty much how everything's been going. So we're not saying that it's all Democrats or all Republicans. I think there were six Republicans that, that supported this bill. They did. They did. So what you got to understand is this is the gun advocates who want gun control, and they're not going to stop until they take away your right and my right to defend ourselves, even though in every state where concealed carry has been passed, crime has went down. Exactly, exactly. And I'm sure all these uh, senators and uh, representatives, they have um, their own protection uh, cadre, and, and they carry guns, um, you know, to, to protect them. Um, yeah, I mean, he's got, I, I don't, one, got one caught. He had 23 guns in his office of mayor. It's anti-gun. <laughs> I don't know if anybody read that. Democratic mayor, anti-gun. They got him 23 guns in his office. And all y'all need to remember, I'm a retired police officer. And when seconds count, we're only minutes away. <laughs> all right. So, um, hey, we got some more Bear Creek Arsenal uh, rifles in here. Um, they're uh, 519 and uh and if you haven't been in here in a while like i say we've got a lot more stuff in here i think the store is really taking on a different look 
And um, I, I told you yesterday, we got a couple of um, AK style uh, rifles up there, Century Arms that have milled receivers. And we got a TAC-14 and a Shockwave and a lot of other stuff. So, and we got some tuna cans of some 7.62 by 39. Um, so we're going to cut this video, the phone's ringing, and we got to open up about 10 minutes. We're located at um, 1606 West Overdrive, Sanford, NC, 27330. Our phone number is Erico 919-708-5475, and our website is carolinafirearmstraining.com, where you can sign up for classes. Um, our class for tomorrow is full, um, and then we've got a class uh, the 16th of March and two class dates the uh, in April as well. All right, so I hope this video has been informative, and once again, uh, congratulations to Mr. Parks on the winner of the uh, Henry uh, 22 lever action rifle. So now, I want your comments, so put them down here. I'm going to load this on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel, so throw me some comments out there of what you would like to see as our gun giveaway for April 1st, all right? All right, y'all make it a great day. Till see you next time. Stay armed, stay safe.